systems of the business here in Germany. And also, we need to remember that a financing is a key di dilemma in, in this kind of, of a BOO uh, concept. So that you really need to you really need to put some some pressure on on financing, and you need to find some investors that are willing to have this kind of asset uh, investment in their shoulders. However, we were really uh, working hard, and the first customer a couple of times said that they would basically want to us to take the plant back, but we were all the time saying that no, we are able to do it and, and make it running fine. Um, and finally, it started to run fine. It started actually to run so fine that the customer, after the first six months, said that, okay, I want to order another one. It's really that good. So the next step, uh, stage in our, our business then was so that um, we started to have the customers trust on us. The local uh, legislation was renewed to support uh, so that we have more uh, these small plants. Uh, the new turbine from Capstone came with a better efficiency and also the local utilities got interested on us because we were able to provide such some uh, solutions that they were also interested. And we got the POO financing from Cheney Renewable Energy Fund, which is uh, part of, of a Cheney hedge, capi uh, hedge Fund, one of the largest hedge funds uh, in, in whole of whole of Europe, based in London. So, I'm going to show this uh, this slide another time in this presentation to you as well. But here you can see that what we were really thinking that was what, what the company was doing those years. So we started uh, 2002. Uh, so that we developed the products. Uh, 2005, uh, we got the readiness to go to the BOO business uh, and we started to build our own SCADA system to control those plants. And then finally, uh, 2009, uh, here in Germany, we were able to make our first breakthrough in order to get these joint ventures with the local utilities uh, so that we are able to really access the uh, business in, in, a, in a bigger scale. And on the following slide, I'm showing you just one example that what we are able to do. So this is um, a biogas site, so that this circle on, on the top of, uh, part of the picture, uh, you see that there's a biogas plant, and typically these plants are located like far, far away from the heat consumption. And that means uh, that this a lot of heat that has been wasted in those biogas plants. Now what we did was that we um, invested for a biogas pipeline, 2.1 kilometer long pipeline, to deliver the biogas, and you can see that on the map here on the, on the lower part of the uh, uh, slide, to a school where we then had about 200 kilowatts uh, of electricity installed capacity and approximately 330 kilowatts of, of uh, thermal power so that we were able to fire that school, to heat that school. Um, this was the first sort of solution where the utility said that, hey, now we're talking, now, now you're really being able to provide us such a solution that we can get from farm countries, uh, farm areas, back to the to the municipalities, and we can really have a solution that actually is of interest. And this is one of the first uh, real big developments that we were able then to do. I we made a, a joint venture together with a, with the city of Smalkalden, their local utility, <clears throat> and we are now. Having this is a map of of uh, a and we have here uh, at all together four different um, power plants on the uh, on, on the city, and and through these power plants we are delivering approximately ten percent of the public consumption already now, and this is uh, so that uh, just about three months ago we made a deal with uh, RWE. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> with RWE, so that they are buying part of this joint venture and uh, coming as a partner there because they see that this is also something that we are, they are able to, to uh, target really new customers and they are 
through that cooperation targeting all the local uh, customers in, in uh, state of Thuring and to this joint venture and to this model. So we really think that this is a breakthrough for us in, in that business. Then some words about Green Environment Tomorrow, so that how we are building the company uh, based on these experiences that we have uh, in the past. So <clears throat> first I'm showing you the company structure. So we have the uh, PLC as, as a mother company now. And we have the subsidiaries in each country where we are operative. You can see that we are operative uh, in Germany through Finnish company in, in Finland and also in Baltic states. And then we have a company in Poland, one in Czech Republic, uh, supporting uh, Czech Republic and Slovakia, and then also one in Romania. The joint ventures are listed on the bottom of the page. So how we see the future of this business to develop is that now you can sort of describe the, the um, power generation as with, with some buzzwords like we are using mostly fossil fuels, the, the business is mostly conventional, it's mostly centralized and it's inefficient. We could also say that it's quite price driven and so forth. Um, the big changes we are now seeing is that first of all, there's a big decision made by German government, so that Germany is shutting down their nuclear power plants uh, by 2022. And this means that, for example, here in Germany, there's, according to multiple experts, there's a need for more than 20,000 new CSP plants installed, and this does not include the so-called household uh, micro anlagen micro uh, these, these uh, micro plants that are located in, some, in just one that's home also. Um, also, as an example, uh, for example, in, in Poland, uh, we were just uh, visiting a seminar last week and they, their local CHP association um, explained that we need a, approximately 3000 megawatts of new base load uh, by CHPs, done by CHPs by 2020. So these are just numbers of, of the magnitude of what we are having here. Um, business is also moving that way that uh, waste energies like associated gas, uh, waste heat and so forth will be used more and more. Uh, growth of power generation that is not able to provide base load like, like uh, wind production, solar and so forth that will increase the grid and instability and that means that a base load CSPs you can see here uh, this bigger picture is one of our biogas sites uh, south of Berlin. Uh, so that you need to have this kind of base load installations more and more as well. And last but definitely not least is that uh, the electrical cars are, are coming and that really will change the business dramatically. And that means that basically 20% of the, of the consumption of the energy of, of nowadays is moving from using liquid fuels to moving or has a possibility at least to, to uh, be altered to use uh, power instead of instead of those fossil fuels and what that means is that these passwords can be changed so that uh, instead of using fossil fuels we are talking about alternative fuels instead of uh, being centralized we will be decentralized in, in instead of conventional the the um, power generation will be using smart grids ia it's not any more one way direction it's it's a multiple way and and this this kind of stuff Here's just a quick slide about where we see the biggest uh, growth. I will not target more about that one, but on the bottom you can see that we are thinking that the overall market potential is huge. It ex exceeds 10% uh, of the total power generation in each target market. Here's what we are doing, what we have now as a product. Uh, this is all something that we, we have already now in place. and. Here you can see that where we are going forward, so that we are really thinking that the uh, heat recovery solutions like using the Orsi turbines for getting those waste heats uh, recovered is something that we are, we are willing to uh, introduce to our markets. Uh, we are developing more and more the SCADA system, IA, the controlling system of our plants. And we are also going for the UPS uh, uninterruptible power source solutions through this active islanding mode uh, in, our, in our products. 
And now back to the slide uh, that how we see the shareholder value to increase. Uh, after 2009, what we did was that uh, we increased the installed basis. Now we are on the phase so that we are getting the profile in the energy sector through some strategic cooperations like I mentioned the RWE and there are some, some others that we are publishing quite soon. And after this one we think that uh, it is possible to achieve uh, 100 megawatts uh, limits by, by is of installed capacity by the end of uh, 2013. Just some projections of ours. Uh, growth is going strong at the moment. So last year we were able to do only like 2.8 million euros of revenues uh, in the last seven months. And now we are already now, uh, after seven months of, the, of this year, financial year, we have been able to book uh, more than 12 million euros of revenues. And this was my short case study, what we have been doing. <laughs>